I'm jumping on the bandwagon and I'm checking out the Creality LD002R resin printer. My name's Jim and this is the Edge of Tech. So like I said, we're going to check out the Creality LD002R resin printer today. Creality did send this printer to me for a video. They didn't ask for anything in return, uh, so that's why I'm doing the video now. So this video is coming out a little bit later than some of the other people have already done their reviews, but I wanted to do, wait a little bit um, and get some time with the printer before I put it out. So one of the cool things is today we're actually going to go straight into the prints and what we got off the build plate. And then towards the end of the video, we're going to do the unboxing and uh, you can see how easy this thing was to set up. It's a really cool machine. Uh, it has a 2K screen. It's five and a half inches. It pretty much shares the screen uh, with the Mars and uh, the Photon, I believe. Um, so if you're looking to replace them, I believe that screen will fit in any of these printers. So we already know that screen is out there, readily available. And if you ever have an issue with your Creality screen, because it is a consumable, it's really cheap to get your hands on. But I think we should jump into the prints. Let's do it. Future Jim here. <laughs> I got my test prints done and I'm gonna show you what they look like a little bit closer now. So this was the uh, test print that was on the card. I really think it came out very nice. Um, it looks really good. There is some bumps back here cause I did not clean up the supports. I just pulled them off to uh, cure this and then show you. Um, but I mean, everything looks really nice. The details in the face are really good. I think overall, this was a very good print for the first print on this printer. Next, I printed an Aria Dragon. I did this with no supports and it looks absolutely gorgeous. This is with the Anycubic Grave resin and it looks super good. Um, it's really hard to show, but that you can see the fangs here. You can actually see all the little details there. This one came out just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I really love the Aria Dragon and I really love the detail you can get with the resin. Next, I did one of my Maker Coins. And if you follow me on Twitter, you realize that I accidentally dumped some green in with the gray. <laughs> so that gave us this weird kind of green gray color, but it's not too bad. Um, I really like how the Maker Coin came out. It looks really awesome in there and it's really smooth. I should have probably cleaned up in here a little better. So even the little glasses all the way around came out and that's really awesome. Same thing with the Patreon Maker Coin. This is a special Maker Coin for my patrons that I just came up with and it really turned out uh, awesome as well. Something I need to work on is cleaning these up a little better, especially in between here. Um, so I'm gonna get a little toothbrush and work on that, but that's not the fault of the printer, that's my thing. Um, but this, the detail's awesome. Like I said, the glasses all the way around, they came out really well. Um, when I was getting this off the bed, I actually cracked it right there. Um, so that's my fault, not the printer's fault. Uh, I just chiseled too hard and, and cracked it myself. That's not the printer's fault, that's totally my fault. Otherwise, this thing came out super good. I'm really proud of this uh, Maker Coin. Special shout out to Tyler West for hooking me up. And uh, you know, I really like this printer. This is the four test prints I did for this video. I really like how they turned out. As you can see, um, they really turned out great. I stuck with the default settings in the slicer and, and that's how I got these three. This one was the test print on the card. For my first prints with this printer and not knowing the printer, it really did a great job. I'm really happy with this. And the link will be in the description for the Aria. This one again was the test uh, that came on the card. And these two are my special coins. I'm not gonna release the uh, files for those yet, but maybe someday I will do that. But Aria Dragon's link will be in the description below. And I, I hope you guys like the prints. Now let's build this printer. All right, so I got this thing unboxed and uh, it came very well packaged. It was surrounded in styrofoam. And as you can see, there's styrofoam actually inside of here as well. We'll get to that in one second. It did come with an extra FEP, which is great. Uh, it came with a power cord and then it came with a bag of stuff right here. In the bag came gloves, some masks, a couple of resin filters, um, two different spatulas, a paintbrush, the standard Creality Allen wrench kit with the uh, screwdriver, a USB thumb drive here, and 
the manual. So I mentioned that the printer came packed in styrofoam, so let's check that out. I'm gonna take the cover off here and set it next to it. And it looks like the whole head here is completely packed in styrofoam. Inside of here is the plate. So we'll take that out and set that to the side. We see the plate that came with it here, um, the vat, the lid, and the printer. So per the instructions, I plugged the printer in here, but now we'll power it on. We're going to go to tool, manual, and we are gonna raise the bed enough to put the plate on it. It's very greased in here from the factory, which I like a lot. So we will take and we'll put the plate on it here and we'll tighten that down. Now what we need to do is level the platform. So let's take off the vat, we'll untwist our thumb screws here. Once your thumb screws are loose, you can remove the vat like this and set that aside. So I noticed that under here, there is a film we need to remove. So grab a hold of the yellow pull tab and, and pull that out like that. Now what it tells us to do is go to tool, manual, home, and that'll bring the bed down. It does say that it has been leveled from the factory and we're gonna find out. It did come all the way down, but I don't know how to tell if this is level because I don't know if it really is leveled from the factory. We need to loosen these four screws here and I did that already. Now we're gonna hit the home button and it's gonna come back down. So as you can see, it pressed down a little bit and the plate is staying on the bed. So the next thing we need to do is hold this down really good and then tighten all four of these bolts. And uh, once you get that done, your bed should be leveled. We're gonna bring the platform back up and I'm gonna take a microfiber and just wipe the screen down here so there's no dust. And I'm gonna wipe the bottom of our vat here and I'm gonna wipe the inside because there is some stuff on the inside and we don't want that to be inside of our prints. Now screw your vat back to the body here. Now that your vat is screwed back to the body, we need to load some resin. One thing I really like and I hope that you can see is that in here there's some steps and the bottom one's 140 milliliters, then 170, then 225, then 285. And you can gauge how much resin you put in off of the steps in here. I think that's really cool. So I'm gonna take my AnyCubic gray resin because I did not get any resin with this printer. Uh, it is mixed up, I have my gloves on, and I'm gonna put in resin. As you can see, I put about 170 milliliters according to the chart in the vat. Now I take the USB stick that came with the printer and pop it in here. And I really like that the USB port is on the side in the front. Some of them are hard to get to in the back and I don't like that, but this is nice, it's right in the front. I'm gonna do the test print that came on here. And to do that, we know that my USB stick is in. We're gonna go to print. It looks like there's a couple different options here. So I'm gonna hit play and it should start the print now. All right, well, we've seen the test prints, we've seen the build, and it was super easy to put together. It came very well packed, and it does print really well. Overall, I really like the Creality LD002R resin printer. It performs like it says it's going to, and I really like that it's really simple to use. Creality, you guys did a great job with this one. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, I hope you learned something, and as always, keep printing. Hey everybody, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget we do a live show every Monday night right here on the Edge of Tech at 6 p.m. So come join us for that, and we're gonna start putting out videos on Thursdays, so check out that. If you liked the video, give me that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers and I need your help. So hit that subscribe button down below. And if you wanna be notified next time we do our live show and we go live Mondays at 6 p.m. or we put out a great video on Thursdays, hit that bell and YouTube will notify you. Thank you guys for watching. Check out that video.